the storm's wrath? Hurricane Milton. As dawn broke on a seemingly ordinary day in early October, the small coastal towns of Clearwater and Tarpon Springs were blissfully unaware of the impending turmoil. Just a few hundred miles away, Hurricane Milton was brewing, gathering strength and fury in the warm waters of the Gulf of Mexico. Milton was no ordinary storm. Forecasters had warned that its winds could reach up to 150 miles per hour, but it was the storm surge that truly terrified meteorologists. As the hurricane approached, the predictions became dire, with estimates suggesting a surge that could inundate low-lying communities. By midday, the eye of Hurricane Milton made landfall. While Tampa was spared the brunt of the storm, the surrounding towns faced the full force of nature's wrath. In Clearwater, residents had been urged to evacuate, but many chose to stay, believing they could weather the storm. As the winds howled and the rain lashed down, the surge began to rise, creeping ominously toward the shore. The first signs of trouble came when the streets started to flood. Water poured into homes, rising rapidly as the gusts whipped around them. Families scrambled to save what they could, moving furniture and belongings to higher ground. In the heart of Tarpon Springs, the iconic sponge docks were swallowed by the relentless tide, boats bobbing like toys in a bathtub. As the storm raged on, the community's resilience shone through. Neighbors banded together, helping each other secure homes and check on vulnerable residents. Makeshift shelters were set up in schools and community centers where people could find refuge from the chaos outside. The local fire department and police worked tirelessly, using boats to rescue those trapped by the rising waters. Meanwhile in Tampa, the city watched in a mixture of gratitude and horror. Emergency services were on high alert, prepared for any eventualities. Shelters were opened and volunteers began to gather supplies, ready to assist their neighbors to the north who were facing devastation. As night fell, Milton's fury continued to unleash its power. The storm surge reached unprecedented levels, breaching seawalls and flooding entire neighborhoods. Streets transformed into rivers and the sounds of emergency sirens filled the air. But amid the destruction, stories of heroism emerged. A local teacher named Maria, who had chosen to stay behind to help her elderly neighbors, turned her home into a shelter. As floodwaters rose, she and a few brave souls helped those who were stranded, providing food and comfort in the face of fear. By the time Milton finally moved inland, the damage was done. The next morning, the sun rose over a changed landscape. Clearwater was unrecognizable, its streets littered with debris, homes damaged, and lives uprooted. Yet, as the community assessed the destruction, they also began to rebuild. The spirit of Clearwater and Tarpon Springs was indomitable. Neighbors came together, sharing resources and support. Local businesses opened their doors to provide meals, and volunteers from Tampa arrived with supplies and hands ready to help. In the weeks that followed, the towns began the long process of recovery. Fundraisers were organized, and support poured in from across the state. The community's resilience was a testament to their strength, and as they rebuilt, they became more than just towns. They became a family united by their shared experience. Hurricane Milton had left its mark, but it had also shown the power of community and the unwavering spirit of those who called these small towns home. They would recover, rebuild, and emerge stronger than ever, ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. Palm Beach Gardens illustrates the incredible force of tornadoes. A massive dumpster lifted by the wind was thrown onto a house, a striking testament to the wind's power. Just to put it in perspective, that dumpster weighs two tons. We've also learned more about the homeowners. They are new owners, having just signed the papers a week ago. Despite the chaos, the family remains grateful that everyone in the neighborhood is safe. Of Florida, particularly focusing on Fort Pierce, St. Petersburg, and other affected areas. The tornado outbreak, spawned by Hurricane Milton, caused significant damage with multiple tornadoes touching down, resulting in injuries and fatalities. The hurricane made landfall as a Category 3 storm, causing widespread destruction, power outages, and flooding across the state. Residents and communities like Trenton shared their heartbreaking stories of survival and loss, facing challenges in rebuilding their homes and lives. The video also highlights the heroic rescue efforts, the impact on barrier islands, and insights from meteorologists about the storm's historic nature 
and the ongoing hurricane season concerns in Florida.